Hey guys, so I've got another manga haul for you today. I did a pretty big one at the beginning of February, which was gonna kind of cover me through the month, but I've been picking up a few mangas throughout the last few weeks. So I've got a couple stacks here, not as big as that last one was in that big haul. There was nearly over 60 books or so on that one. This time around, only about 20 or so, so I'm still going pretty hard with my manga collection. I have reached over the 500 mark at the moment, so there's that. But like I keep saying, man, when I find a new passion, I just dive in wholeheartedly. So I'm going to share with you what I picked up over the past two and a half weeks. that has been trickling in and, yeah, enriching my life, for whatever better word. Yeah, so first up is book number four of the Astro Boy Omnibus. I've got the other three and I cannot wait to dive into these ones. These ones are in traditional left to right reading format, so not like how they are intended. So, I didn't know that going in. I don't know why they haven't gone the right to left format, which is what most mangas are. But, hey, you gotta go with it, right? They're available in this format, so I've got no other choice. And it's Astro Boy, so I'm really looking forward to diving into these because Astro Boy rocks. Look at that cover, isn't it nice? really thick volumes. So I've got four of those. Next is number 10 of Platinum End. So I'm pretty much up to date now for these ones. The people who did Death Note created this one and I just love the covers on this. They look so nice, really glossy and shiny. Can you see? So I'm really looking forward to diving into this. It's about a group of people who are fighting to become God. So because Death Note was so amazing, this one wasn't getting as much love because it's considered to be not as good. But, I'm going to read this one first. I'm about to do a Death Note reaction on my channel. I'm going to dive into the anime. So I'm going to be reading the manga next. But book-wise, I'm going to leap into this one first because I don't want to be disappointed. I want to enjoy it and it looks cool. Next, number four in Plus Sized Elf. So, this one is a unique find. I am diving into these primarily because other YouTubers have said it's good and I want to check it out so number four and that one has arrived. Also I've got Black Clover number six so that's turned up. The collection for this is growing nicely. I don't think this one has arrived in order because I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the shelf already so this one is a bit late. Black Clover number five. That's what I said right? Five? Number five. Look at that cover. Super pumped to dive into that one, it's, it's going to be cool. Alright, now this one was a bit of an impulse buy. I was holding off on it because, well, shelf space, these are really big. Blade of the Immortal, number one. So this is an omnibus, I think it's a, a two-in-one, I, I think. Everyone who's read it has said that the story is absolutely amazing, so I picked it up, although I was a bit conscious of it being large, because shelf space is not too, too good. It's not my friend here, as you know from my other hauls, but this just looks like it's going to be a really epic read. And look how thick it is. It's a decent sized volume, but I'm fairly confident I'll find a place for it on the shelf. I don't know where, but I will. So they were my single pickups that arrived over the last couple of weeks, and the rest of them are pretty much going to be continuations of series I've already started. So I've got a bunch of books here for Hunter x Hunter. So I've got number 9 in my hot little hands. Number 10. Look at that. The covers are really nice, man. What do you reckon? I'm really excited to dive into this series and I've got number 11 so once again these are turning up in no particular order but here they are so number 11 so those three arrived as well and this is two new ones actually so I've got the third one on the way I hope but I have read this novel by Claudia Gray in my digital books I've got it in my iBooks on my iPad and I really enjoyed the story so when I heard they released it in, in a manga I thought I've got to dive into it so this is Star Wars Lost Stars we got volume one there and volume two. Look how shiny and glossy it is. Nice, right? So part three should be arriving soon, I hope. But I, I flipped through it and you know what? This looks really good. It's right to left as well, so it's traditional manga format. And the illustrations are quite good. Now from my memory, the story is essentially Romeo and Juliet in space. And um, I really enjoyed it. So if you've not read it, check it out. I'm excited to dive into the manga. Oh look, I found two more hunters. So I just did my hunter hunters just then. So I've got 14 and 15 here as well. They got a bit lost in the pile. So they've arrived recently as well. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the shelf already. So I've got five more today. So excited to check those out, man. Hunter Hunter. 
a lot of people give this a, a big rating. It's meant to be pretty good, right? It's not quite the big three, but yeah, good. Okay, so this one came highly recommended by everybody who likes manga and anime. I am about to start recording my reactions to the show and get that up onto my YouTube channel and my Patreon. I, I'm really dubious about the illustrations in, in this one because it does look a little bit different, but I hear the story is absolutely incredible. So, Mob Psycho number one has arrived, and like I said, I'm looking forward to diving into the show. Very similar to One Punch Man, who was the same author. So, book one has arrived. Book number two. So just clicking through. So the illustrations are very, very kind of like I don't want to use the word crude, but they're not greatly detailed. But I hear the story is incredible, and I'm sure that the artwork will suit the story beautifully. And I've got number three as well. So I think these are all re-releases, right? Because I have seen Mob Psycho 100 online for Amazon, but in different languages. And these three are the only ones I could get at the moment, or the other ones are on pre-order. So, I don't know, are they re-releases? I don't care, I'm getting them. So nice. Okay, next. So, you know I'm clicking my Magi. Magi? Magi? And as you know, I've been collecting Magi, so I've got two more books in that collection. I've got 18 and 19 in my hollow hands, just turned up last week. So, I'm getting most of these along nicely, so... Once again, I've got, a, I've got a lot to read, guys, and these are big, epic collections. There's like 30 books in that one alone. Next, I've got, oh, and this is what everyone's favorite, Quintuplets, the quintessential Quintuplets, book number five. This is pretty popular amongst the manga crowd, so I'm very excited to dive into this. Very wholesome and heartwarming, people are loving it. So that's number five, and then I've got book number six. Get in the light there. And number seven. So they're all just trickling in one at a time. There's a few on order. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for these ones. It gets a lot of love by everybody who does these manga haul videos and the community out there really loves them. Next, this is a, a fairly decent size. Okay, so Naoki Urasawa. I'm a big fan of his work. I've read Pluto. I'm gonna dive into 20th Century Boys and Monster. So why not round out his collection with Master Keaton. So I've got a few of these in the collection already. This is number five for Master Keaton. Number six. I love how these are just turning up. And they're nice big volumes too. So these are going to be, um, yeah, they're going to have to take a nice spot on the shelf somewhere because it just looks so beautiful. Number seven. And look at those spines. You see the spines there? Beautiful, yeah. And the illustrations, once again, Urasawa is just an absolutely stunning artist. It's going to be fun to dive into these. Look at that. Pretty. Number eight. And these are steadily getting thicker as I go along. So book number eight for Master Keaton. Book number nine. It's just, yeah, there's so many books. I love that just, it's just got a really nice glossy like. I just like how the title Mr. Master Keaton is in this nice shiny gold. Very pretty. And I've got number 12. So 10 and 11 shouldn't be too far away, I hope. I wanna get these onto the shelf pretty quick. I've got all these books turning up, so what I do is I just stack them on the floor knowing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a haul. And it's pretty messy. It's not until I've done this recording do I actually put them away on the shelf and redesign things and get them to where I want them to be. Next. Ah, I can't wait for these ones, man. Okay, Death Note Black Edition. So we've got number four here. Don't you just love that? It's just, these are stunning. Like I said, I had the all-in-one book, which was smaller and very, very thick. I was kind of concerned about how I was going to read it, so I decided to dive in and get these one as well because it just looks nice. I've got number five. Just love the edges, how it's just all black. Nice one, yeah. And number six. So I've got all of these now. One, two, and three are already up there on the shelf. So I'm going to maneuver things around and get them in a nice... I want to display them because it's so pretty. Next. Now this is finally rounding out my collection for Slam Dunk. 24 and 31 have arrived. 31 came last week. 24 arrived today. So Slam Dunk is officially complete. I can dive into it at any point and not worry about not missing any of the books. So they're all here now. This one I had to order twice because I got a wrong book. 
they sent me something different. I have returned it, but I had to um, reorder this. It was a City of Dubai tour book for some reason. I don't know why, but um, wasn't quite what I was expecting. So, slam dunk. Here it is. And of course, as you know, I am collecting the Walking Dead series. So book number five of that has turned up. Looking forward to diving into this again. Like I said, I enjoy the series. And these just look really nice on the shelf too, guys. They're, they're beautiful books and a great story too. So, awesome. And last but not least, so, I have got a few box set collections here in my home. I've got Akira, I've got Ghost in the Shell, I've got Assassination Classroom, and I've got the three box set of One Piece. And I thought I was done with the the, the box sets, but apparently no. There's there's a couple other series I want to collect in box set because one, self-contained in, in these beautiful box sets, and I don't have to worry about storing them on the shelf. I've got them stacked in the corner over there looking pretty good. So I started diving into a new collection, and that would be Naratu. <clears throat> box set number one, and this encompasses one to 27. So that's uh, really super big. There's two more box sets for this collection. Um, I'm gonna just order them once a month because they're, they're pretty pricey, like a couple hundred bucks for this series, like for each box set, but they just store nicely in this format. So I'm thinking these box sets will give me all those books, but not really take up a lot of shelf space. Now the other series I'm really keen on getting is Bleach. So there's three box sets to that as well. Uh, I know nothing about these, I just know they're like immensely popular and I'm so curious, I want to check out these amazing new mongers. So, well not new, they've been around for a little while, right? Let's open this guy. So they've wrapped these up in, in plastic. A lot of has got a little carry handle there on the top. Oh my god. Let's take a look. Okay, so that's gonna open up. So that opens up like that. Oh my god. Let me hold that up to you. This is a bit heavy, I don't want to drop it. But um can you see? Wow. Ugh. So heavy and awkward. So we have got all the books there man. That is hitting me in the back of the head. That looks so nice. Okay. So Naruto, it's about uh he's a ninja, right? It's a ninja series. Look at those covers. I'm going to show you a couple covers. I'll show you a couple covers. Okay, that's number five. We just grabbed, grabbed it out randomly. What's another one we can look at? Number 11. Sick. Yeah, man. Number 11. Nice and small too. And number 27. I had the final one. I don't want to spoil myself. But yeah, it's a Ninja Series, right? So that's going to be exciting to check out. We got a poster here as well. I know nothing about who these characters are. I know the main guy with the yellow spiky hair, because, you know, I have the internet. But I don't really know much about this series, like I said, so I'm I'm just diving in blind to all these. It's just gonna be so much fun. So that is the Naruto box set. So I'll get the next two. Once I get my credit card bill and pay that off, I'll do some more shopping. That's um, kind of rough every month, but hey, like I said, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's just so much fun. So that was just that, well for me, that was just a small manga haul. As you know, with me and my channel, I usually get tons and tons and tons, but I just want to do like a, a small one. Now you might have noticed I haven't got my mic in front of me. It's over, over, over here today. I have got a new light ring. So my previous light ring was kind of small. My camera does have a boom mic port on top. But with this other light ring I had, I couldn't fit the mic on top, so I always had to use my mic and my computer to get the audio because the audio through the camera on it by itself is pretty ordinary. So I got a nice big 18 inch light ring now, so my camera's sitting there beautifully with the mic on top, which makes it easier just to do really quick YouTube videos rather than doing a whole big setup with the green screen and moving the table around and getting the computer in here and just teeing everything up. I can be a little bit more spontaneous, so I'm hoping that the volume is coming through loud and clear for you and it's nice and crisp. It's a Rode mic, so I spent a lot of money on it, so it should be good. But I was hoping to have a bit more spontaneity with my videos and just make, have more fun with it and just do these kind of haul videos more frequently. So rather than saving up for an entire month, 
get a couple out at you every few weeks or so because there will be more as what I do. So I guess I'll catch you all in the next one. Please don't forget to leave comments down below. I love talking to you guys about manga, what you love and new suggestions. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.